Now, this one's pretty messed up, y'all, but watch President Biden laugh at what this news reporter had to say. Fentanyl is killing more than 70,000 Americans a year. Big one. You got it. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12, verse 10. It says, Never trust thy enemy, for like if iron rusteth, so is his wickedness. And with that, we want to start by giving all glory and praises to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, and and the brother I'm a one, next to me I have the brother. I tell you one. I we come from you from down in Tampa, Florida, from the camp props of Babylon. Come with another quick hit to the sparing prayer by Shema Shai. Lord wanted to edify and feed the sheep. Double honest that I was an apostle, great millstone, who teach you well. Peace and blessings to the brothers for pushing this work into sincerity to this guy abroad. <clears throat> and as you can see in the video, you had a, uh, you know, uh, this devil man, Joe Biden, okay, having a smart remark, okay. Leading to a smile at this, uh, yeah, what was it? Uh, uh, forgot who it was. It was an interview, and the guy that was in the interview that he was pretty much asking that question, mm. you know, Joe Biden smiled at a man, okay, that was uh, at the post conference. Yeah, press conference. The guy, mm -hmm. the, the people said um, they were asking about fentanyl, a uh, fentanyl. And he stated fentanyl killed, kills over 7,000 people a year. Mm -hmm. And then the people started um, chanting, it's your fault, it's your fault. And that's when he began to smile. Yeah. That's a wicked little smile on his face, man. Mm -hmm. and, and, and that shows you that, you know, these devils in the back of their minds, man, you know, they ain't, they ain't, they ain't, sorrow, they ain't sorrowful for what they think they do, man. Mm -hmm. You know, they're not, they not uh, you know, you know uh, sad that that, that that many deaths, you know, took you know, place, you know, because they're behind it, man. Yeah, these are their accomplishments. Yep. Mm hmm. Uh, so, you know, grabbing the scriptures, Lord, when you're going to be, you know, edified, but going back into it, Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 10, it says, Never trust thy enemy, mm. for like a, as iron rusteth, so is his wickedness. And, you know, these devils, man, okay, you can't trust them, man, because they're the ones that's causing harm. Uh, um, to the masses of the people, man. Mm -hmm. Okay, they're the ones behind the wicked acts. They're behind the, they're behind the things that's causing, you know, death of 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 many masses of people when it comes to sicknesses, diseases, illnesses. Okay. Yeah, but these be the first people Jake want to run to. Mm -hmm. Jake want to run to um, the the feds. They want to run to the hospital. They don't, anything that Esau offers as a, a his him extending his arm, you know, Jake is there to grab it. As, as soon as possible, immediately, man. They mm -hmm. don't ask at the, 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 the mouth of the Lord. They go straight down to Egypt, as the scriptures say, man. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, scriptures say, trust be the man that trusteth in man, that putteth his trust in man, you know, and maketh arm his flesh, because, um, you know, uh, wo woe be to that man, because what? That man is going to fail you. You know, Esau, Edom is going to fail you. Egypt is going to fail you. You know, you can be getting robbed, and then you call the police because you put your trust in the police, you put your trust in Esau, and they don't get there until after this nigga is spoiled, robbed, and raped your family. Mm -hmm. Okay, took in everything. All right, probably killed everybody. You you left bleeding out, and then these niggas come through the door. So woe be to you, you know, curse be you, because what? You're going to find out every time. You're going to be ashamed every time you put your trust in these devils and find out that he was never for you, man. That's the Lord that's really for us, man. That's right. Uh, starting from the top, it says, Ecclesiastes is known as Sirach. Chapter 12, verse 10. Never trust thy enemy. So these devils are not to be trusted, man. Okay, as a brother just, you know, went into it, man. That's a prime example. Okay, because Esau will be your shame at the end of the day. It says, for like as iron rusteth, so is his wickedness. So, you know, just like when it comes to iron, man, you know, and it's put through certain stages of, uh, uh, you know, different seasons. Like a fence being set up around your house. After different type of seasons, you know, it, it starts re revealing itself, man. Okay, from his mm -hmm. two melons. All right? So here you have it. You you got Esau, man. Okay, who will eventually show his wickedness, man. Mm -hmm. Okay, when it comes to his acts of things that he's being played out on the earth, man. Okay, that's why when this dude, uh, uh, you know, mentioned what he mentioned, you know, this devil smiled at it. Yeah. Okay, you kind of see, you know, what was her name, Camilla? Yeah. Uh, in the you know in the background smiling as well, you know, and then you had this devil right next to him, 
who looked like he was ready to tick his ass up out of there, man. Because there are things that these devils are doing that they seem to be on the on the, on the right hand side of things, you know. Oh, you know, we 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 you know for the people, but ultimately they're they're pulling uh, left hand uh, stunts, man. Mm -hmm. Okay, they they're they're actually of the border of wickedness when it comes to these things, man. Well, scriptures say, um, we are not ignorant of Satan's devices, and Satan that word Satan goes into adversary, mm -hmm. which means your opponent, your your enemy. Okay, so we're dealing with Satan here. All right, you and everybody has always looked at the word, the title, or the name Satan as evil, wicked. Stay away from this, you know. But this is the person that you actually run into when you look into these Edomites for help. That's right. Verse eleven, though he humbled himself, and this is the way of Esau humbled himself when, when he comes in a certain vibration, man, mm -hmm. as a piece. like he's like he's for the people. Yeah, exactly, and go crouching. Yet take good heed. So you have to take good heed. And it says, beware of him. Because this is your enemy standing before you and, and telling you what he's doing. All right. Without telling you he's doing it, man. Mm -hmm. Okay. You got to beware of this devil. Because he will get you. Even though he's crouching. Okay. Like a, like a lion. All right. He's waiting for uh, that opportunity to attack. All right, the prey and, and, and Esau sees you, you know, you so called Negroes, Latinos, Native American, ultimately as prey, man. Even though he has little uh, side, uh, what is it, you know, side, um, you know, characters on the, on the playing fields, man. Mm -hmm. And that could be his own people if if if, if you really want to be technical, man. He don't give a damn. It says, and it says, thou shalt be unto him as. If thou hast wiped a looking glass, and thou shalt know that his rust have not been altogether wiped away. Mm -hmm. So when it comes to reality, man, Esau going to be Esau, man. All right? When it comes to you trying to uh, uh, see for who, who he really is, you know, he going to reveal it, you know, once you get through the smoke and mirror, man. Yeah. You know? Because his, this is his nature. This is what he's accustomed to. All right? You got anything? Oh, you can drop down that 16. Verse 16, con. it says, An enemy speaketh sweetly with his lips, but in his heart he imagines how to throw thee into a pit. Because they, when you think about it, man, all these things that's happening when it comes to drugs or fentanyl, when it comes to uh, uh, meth, when it comes to heroin, all these type of drugs come from a supplier, and that supplier comes from a supplier. Okay, a bigger supply, and, and, and all this leads back to uh, that government system, man. Mm -hmm. Because here you have it; these devils are, are in cahoots. You know, you got like the Bushes and and uh, the, the Rockefellers and them that has cahoots of the drug business, man. Yeah, this shit, this type of shit doesn't just fall out of the sky. Mm -hmm. This shit doesn't just um, fall out of your tree or just start growing in your tree. You don't have fentanyl growing in your tree every day, man. It's just not in your backyard. It's not in your fucking... It's probably in your mailbox because the devil's dropping it off in the, in the hood, man. Okay? Exactly. He's, he's sending his agents, okay, from the government to drop packages of fentanyl off in the hoods to kill off you jakes, man. Mm -hmm. You know? So when he smiled like that, it's because it was an accomplishment. Was, yeah, we're doing our job. That means we're doing our thing. You know? These devils ain't for you, man. These devils are against you. Yeah. That's, that's why I say speak as smoothly. And then he speak as smoothly with his lips, especially at this press conference. And these niggas be speaking... They be speaking smooth as hell, man. They telling you everything you, you think you want to hear. You know? Mm -hmm. It says, he will weep with his eyes, but if he find opportunity, he will not be satisfied with blood. Mm -hmm. And how much he said it was? That, that Over 70,000. Over 70,000, man. A year. A year. So you think Esau, you know, is satisfied with that? No, he's not, man. You know how easy it is for Esau to actually make an adjustment to those things for and, and, and take up, take those type of things out of out of uh, of the, the equation. It's easy, man. He can make a snap of the finger to do that, but these devils have it where they don't want that to have um happen, man. That's why they, according to their 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 you know businesses, man, like the pharmaceutical business, the companies, mm -hmm. that's the biggest drug business there is, man. You know, when you really go into it, okay? He's making more product uh, of, you know, he's making more money, you know, from these things that's of the drug business than, you know, anything else. 
or even you know in on on a bigger scale you can even say all right so if you think he's satisfied with blood no man he gonna take more and more and more until he corrupts everything he he touches man mm -hmm. you know what you had it's the book of ecclesiastes um ecclesiasticus Salakia, chapter 13 Verse 2, burden not thyself above thy power while thou livest, and have no fellowship with one that is mightier and richer than thyself. For how agree the kettle and the earthen pot together? It says, for if the one be smitten against the other, it shall be broken. Okay, because a rich man, which is an example of these Edomites, these motherfuckers, they, they got power, man. They got power through their money. They got power because they run shit, you know. But when it's uh, when it comes down to one of us, one of the lowly men, you know, there ain't really much we can do with the power in our hands because we ain't got much money to make shit move. But these devils got money to make things move, man. You know, so you trying to go up against him, it's like going up against a brick wall. That's right. These people, this the same thing with these people saying it's your fault, even though they're telling Biden it's his fault. You know, the press conference, there's nothing they can do against him because he has that power. You know, it says the rich man hath done wrong and yet he threateneth with all. The poor is wronged, and he must entreat also. So even when the poor is wrong, they still got to pay for it. You know, the poor has, has been done wrong. He still got to pay for being done wrong. But these um, these damn Edomites, ruling Edomites, says the rich man hath done wrong, and yet he threatened with all. He's threatening to do more wrong. You know, they're saying it's your fault, it's your fault, and he's smiling. And they all looked at him. You know, that one devil on the left side... Uh, the other side of Kamala, you know, he gave him that look like, hey, we'll, we'll do even worse. Right, exactly. You know, it says, if thou be for his profit, he will use thee. But if thou have nothing, he will forsake thee. So as long as he can use you, he going to use you up. You know, you ain't got nothing, he ain't, you ain't going to never hear from him. But as long as he can use you, he going to use you up. And that's what this devil is doing. He's getting fat off the, the backs of the poor, which is the Israelites. If thou have anything, that's why you got these fucking Chinese stores, all these Chinese, um, these Moabites got these stores in the in the hood, they're selling uh, <clears throat> they selling to um, Jake woman, uh, this damn weave and shit, man, you know these nasty ass food restaurants they be selling. Okay, you got these Elamites and these damn Air, uh, the, these Elamites, these Arabs and these fucking um, Ishmaelites, man, you know, these devils are all in the hood, man. You got the Elamites in the pharmacies. You got the Ishmaelites in the corner stores. Okay. And all these devils are making their profit off of you Israelites. That's why uh, Maccabees tells you uh, what nation has not had a part of her spoils. Mm -hmm. You know, because to this day, they're still leeching off of Israel. That's right. They're still setting uh, Yashuala up for the kill, um, putting drugs into their neighborhoods, and then they run to Elam. You know, they want to get better. They want to get healthier, look better. They go to these damn... Um, these damn Ishmaelites and try to get jewelry or whatever. It's getting sold fake jewelry and shit, man. You know, it's just, it's not it, man. This ain't it. It says, if thou have anything, he will live with thee. Yeah, he will make thee bare and will not be sorry for it. Okay. okay. Well, he will not be sorry for it. If he have need of thee, he will deceive thee and smile upon thee. Like this devil Biden just smiled. Mm -hmm. You know, he was because, well, he's a very, he's very deceitful. If he got need of you, he gonna deceive you, like he was just doing his press conference. Oh, it's losing more than seventy thousand lives to fentanyl. We're gonna do something about this, and they said it's your fault. And guess what he did? He smiled. He smiled upon thee. And you know it's crazy because in some of these movies that you watch, um, uh, for an example, I believe it was Don't Look Up, and in the movie it showed you a scene and maybe a few scenes where. They might have, uh, you know, put themselves out there in front of the people and told the people what they wanted to hear and then go behind closed doors and, and act as, you know, well, we're really not going to do that. We're, well, we're, you know, who cares about these things? All we need to do is just tell them what they want to hear or what they need to, to, to do or whatever the case might be so that, you know, they could prolong the BS, man. Mm -hmm. And that's what really goes down, okay, with these... uh. You know, the, these presidents and the ones that's in government seats, okay, the senators and judges, they do these things, man. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, you know, we're dealing with the wicked, man. That's right. 
It says, If you have need of thee, he will deceive thee and smile upon thee, and put thee in hope. He will speak thee fair and say, What wantest thou? And he will shame thee by his meats, which is like his gifts, a gift to see with the heart. Mm, prime example. Or so like a gift to store with the heart. So look. It says, He will shame thee by his meats until he have drawn thee dry twice or thrice, or twice or three times. And at the last, he will laugh thee to scorn afterward. Hey, he saw a script you dry, man. He would script you dry, man. You take anything and everything you got. You know, that's why you got to go to these devils and you got to, um, you, you know, you got to get them everything. You know, they got to, they, 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 they charge with everything that comes with anything here, man. Mm -hmm. They want, they want everything. So this devil, he, he's never satisfied. It says, and at the last, he will laugh thee to scorn afterward. When he seeth thee, he will forsake thee and shake his head at thee. Mm. Because he got your ass. And that was that smile Biden gave them. Like, ah, we got your ass. Yeah. You know? You know, watch those movies back then. When it was a wicked king ruling. And when he would rule, he would rule in the most evilest way by taking from the poor, from the lowly. And then when he would visit the town and come through walking into town, and then he had the people carrying him or the elephants carrying him <laughs> and his uh, little hoopty, whatever. He would look at the people and laugh and, you know, scorn on them and, and eat his fruit and, 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 you know. Waving at him and shit like yeah. it's all good, you know, and, 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 and glory in his riches, man. Yeah. You know, and these devils is ruling, man. They got they got all that, you know, stored up. They ain't worried about the, the ones that's at the, uh, at the know, bottom, at the bottom. Beautiful, you know, so that shows you, man, these devils are are your enemy and they're not to be trusted. And as you can see, prime example in this video, you know, be aware of your enemy, man. Mm -hmm. Speaking to you, so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American, okay, to be exact, all right, because that's you are the Lord's chosen people, man, okay. Um, <clears throat> yeah, anything else? Hey, it's, you know, 444, man. Mercy, man. Call up by Shamel Shai. Call up by Shamel Shai. So, hey, with that, look, when you edify, just a little quick little lesson going into this evil-ass, you know, devil, man, and the things that comes with it. You know, so with that, we're going to give our glory on the purchase to Yahweh by Shemuel Shai by Shemuel Kakadash. Lord, when you edify, until next time, we say Shalom. Shalom.